What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Tacky and today I wanted to show you guys a screen saver that I've been using for a while now uh, in the XFCE desktop. So I haven't done many videos on modifying your desktop or uh, changing your desktop and making it look how you want to look. But um, I saw recently that the um, Matrix was actually coming out with a fourth uh, movie. And so I was like, ah, oh, this will be a good time for me to show you guys a screensaver I've been using for a while uh, on my production machine. And so it's basically a Matrix uh, uh, screensaver. And I just want to show you guys how to install it. It's uh, in the the AUR for Arch. Um, let, me sh let me show you guys the actual program that you need. So basically, the package name is uh, X Screensaver, uh, X Matrix, and then color because you could change the color on it. So, um, and then this is the website. We can actually go to the website. I'll show you guys uh, the website. Uh, it's got some screenshots on there. It says X Screensaver is, is the standard screensaver collection shipped on most Linux and Unix systems on the X11 Windows system. Uh, it was released in 1992 and ported and I ported it to Mac OS 2006, um, to iOS 2012, and to Android in 2014. Uh, so uh, this is just a little information on it. Let's go to the screenshot. It's already been there, but pretty much this is What we're looking for and as you can see a lot of these screen saves are kind of old looking, you know what I'm saying, but I Like one that's on here and actually let's go control F To find it and it's pretty much the matrix one uh, Is really the one I want to see so GL matrix but anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do it on a VM. So let's get started. Okay, so I already have my VM up and running. This is Manjaro again. Uh, like I said, with the XFC desktop. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is, um, in order to install something off the, um, the community uh, tab, especially if it's if it's not something that's, that's used a lot or for some reason, it doesn't cache this pack manager GUI version. It doesn't cache everything up here. Like if I, for instance, if I go to the repository for the community tab or community uh, repository, and let's say I want to search for that X screensaver, it's going to bring up the, the main one. And that's it. It's not going to show you anything else. I wonder if it's, uh, it's going to show anything. Yeah, it's not going to show anything else. Um, it's just gonna show the main X screensaver, and what we want is a different one, which has that matrix thing in it. So, so I'm not gonna gonna use the uh, the GUI installer. I'm just actually install it from the command line, so you guys can see. And actually, let's see. Uh, let's see it all. And. It's a package that you need to install stuff from the command line to help you out. Uh, Cause I don't wanna confuse anybody by pulling down the, the uh, cloning the, the package down from uh, GitHub. I'm gonna just show you how to do it all in here. So uh, one thing we need out of the community tab or community repository, I keep saying tab, but the community repository is, uh, um, uh, actual a uh, pac-man helper or aur helper uh, and the one that i like to use is actually yay and y a uh, y and so we can install that and plus i, I also didn't want to um pull that down as well to install it because i mean i have that's the way i got it on my main system on my production system and i just cloned it from clone the repository from uh, from github and install yay and then i installed all my packages from the aur using uh yay 
but you can easily do it through the package manager or this GUI style package manager. Uh, you know, it's, it's pretty simple. And so, Gay is installed now, so now I'm gonna open up the terminal show you guys how to install it so it's basically yay and you use it just like pac-man so if you know the pac-man commands then yay is the exact same thing you could query uh the repositories you know using capital q and then lowercase s and you can search for certain things or whatever and um or ss which searches the the repository itself q i forgot qs is for searching what's already installed so ss is uh for for uh querying the um, the public repository uh where stuff is stuff it, it shows stuff that's installed as well as stuff that's uh not installed on the system so uh we can query it um i'm not gonna take too much time looking through here because i don't I, I don't even know if it's gonna pull it up i didn't test this before but anyway i just wanted to show you that that the querying works so i'm gonna go over to my other desktop and really all you need is the name and i apologize for that but you just need the name and uh and we're gonna copy that into our terminal over here so it's x screensaver dash x matrix dash color so it's yay and then dash capital S to install. And then uh, hopefully I got this turned on where I can paste from. Yep, and I don't have shared clipboards turned on for this for this uh, actual virtual machine, which allows me to copy and paste. So I'm gonna have to type it in, but it was, it's uh, X screen saver dash matrix or g matrix i think let me go look back at it x matrix i'm sorry and then dash color and press enter on that and it'll go out and grab the package and install it from the uh, aur and um with this uh package manager for the aur it basically uh asks you uh, some questions or whatever uh like to try to see if something is gonna conflict uh i just hit no uh don't worry about it i don't want to see the difference and then um type in password and it should install and as you can see it installs a couple pearl packages um and that's just the dependencies so we can install all that and like i said this is a whole lot easier than than um you know installing directly from github like going through and typing you know getting into the repository uh i don't know if it has a sha file in there to install it or whatever making it executable and going through that whole process uh yeah you'll just pull it down and go through the whole process for you and install it <clears throat> and there's another one i used to use i can't remember the name of it but it was york right there, i believe but i think it it uh they stopped developing on it it was yet another something user repository or whatever it was an acronym for something like that but uh, yeah, it does the same, exact same thing, which I like this one better because it doesn't ask you as many questions. Uh, York used to ask you like a bunch of different questions uh, when you're installing something from the AUR. But this just goes through and, and do the installation for you and you're good to go. So let's wait for this to finish and then um, I'll show you, guys, show you guys how it works. Okay, so the package is finished installing. Um, as you can see, you know, X screensaver, X matrix color or whatever. So what I like to do, especially when I'm messing with like AUR packages, I uh, I do a reboot um, and that's just me. You don't have to follow that practice. Most people just log out and then log back in. You could do that too, but that's just what I like to do. 
It's just to do a full reboot. That way everything, I can make sure everything uh, starts up the way it's supposed to. Especially when you're dealing with the desktop, when you make the changes to the desktop. Um, I just I just find that it, it turns out better for me when I, um, when I do a full re reboot. And also, I don't know if you you guys ever like in, when you're installing themes and all that stuff, uh, different mouse uh, themes or or whatever. It really doesn't fully take effect until you you uh, reboot the system. Like I've logged out of systems after I made theme changes and stuff, and it doesn't uh, go full effect. Like uh, I open up the browser or something, and the mouse looks different when it's over the browser or something like that. Uh, so it doesn't fully fix itself until uh, you reboot the system uh, fully. That way everything is is loaded so anyway uh, so desktops back up and then what we want to do is go to the screensaver not as install so we can just click on screensaver and it kind of takes over from the other screensaver somewhat and then we can go in here and actually find sorry about that um, and actually find the matrix one if it's here it doesn't look like it's here hold on one second hold on my screen saver or I might say it might say X matrix yeah it does I forgot about that so pretty much uh, that's that's it so you select it and that'll give you a, a a little preview of it and I was trying not to do that just yet because they have some advanced options you can do uh, let's see and oh there we go settings so here we go we could change the font size like I, I like small uh, we can do a matrix you can do any type of coding now binary coding hexadecimal co encoding and basically all that is is the uh, the type of text that's shown on the screen so uh, I'm just use the default matrix um, and this algorithm right here you can also change the color that's why they put color on the package name and for some reason I like that gray so I'm gonna set the gray and then there's also like a dialogue within the screensaver where it like starts with your with a phone number. So if you put whatever phone number in there you want, so I'm gonna just put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then zero. And I think that's a full number. Yep, full number. Um, and you can change the frame, the frame rates, uh, the density. I'm not gonna mess with any of that, but you can mess around with it. And it's, of course, to take you to the documentation if you want to. Uh, so let's press OK on the changes that I made, and let's let's uh, get it to running so you guys can see. So I'm gonna preview it. Bam. So it pops up with that, just like in similar to like in a movie. Um, it start out with a phone number, like it's dialing into the matrix or whatever, or it's hacking a number, you know, to get into the to the matrix or whatever. And then once it finds out that whole number that you put up there, um, then it'll start the whole whole matrix uh, thing. And it's it's probably not gonna run too well. Like I said, this this is running in a VM. Uh, yeah, it's running bad. So might not want to show this. Yeah, this is running like super bad. Or maybe that's where it starts. Yeah, it starts off. Well, <laughs> I apologize. This thing is running bad. Um, well, uh, since this since this isn't a VM or whatever, I'm. It's not going to run too well. So just for the demonstration, I went through the whole install on here and everything I showed you is exactly correct. Uh, but what I'm going to do is 
uh, just shut this one down and I'm gonna run it on my desktop so you guys can see see it run uh, like fully because I have the same you know screensaver loaded up on my, on my main desktop so as you can see this is my desktop let's go uh, screen saver properties and as you can see I already have it set up the exact same way I had it set up in there and you should be able to see this I hope so so and sorry about that there we go so it's actually gonna look a whole lot better on my screen um, and I hope you guys can see this um, I'm gonna record this regardless uh, if you guys can see it or not if you if the video is up that mean it worked on the uh, recorder that I'm using uh, to record my screen uh, and crap I keep cutting out um, so, let's see Let's see if we can get it to run all the way through so you guys can kind of see it i mean it's 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 pretty this is pretty much it it might be because i'm bumping on the table uh that's making it turn off so i'm gonna be very still crap hold on I took my hands off the screen, off the uh, table now, so I shouldn't bump it. Or I shouldn't stop now this time. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing it. Um. But it, 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 trust me, it works, guys. Uh, cause I use it on my, it's my screensaver on my, on my desktop. I don't know why I keep stopping like that. Uh, I've never, I've never had an issue. Uh, I walk away from my computer, it locks, and this screensaver is running. And I wish, I wanted to show you guys the dialogue that it pops up, you know. So that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. If you can, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, keep it techie.